It has been about one year since I've been using this M1 Max MacBook Pro, which I bought at a massive discount. Until this day, I have made multiple videos on it, and I believe it is such a great value for money after the discount. But the question is, with Apple moving closer to AI on their roadmap, how will older machines like the M1 models perform on those updated macOS? And the question is, can it run? macOS Sequoia smoothly? To answer the question, I have been doing a lot of diggings on this topic because I am using the M1 Max MacBook Pro as well and I'm ready for the macOS Sequoia to be released to the public. My concern is that it will not run smoothly and there will be a lot of slowness due to my Mac not having enough power because it is a 4 year old machine. But I was quite surprised after doing all of my research. So before we get to the conclusive result on how the Sequoia will run on M1 machine based on Geekbench performance comparison, I first did research on how developers who use this M1 machine felt about macOS Sequoia as a whole. And surprisingly, there were a lot of positive reviews on the beta version of the macOS Sequoia. And the feedbacks were on how smooth it runs on M1 machine. Of course, there were feedbacks on the jankiness of the OS and also there were a lot of bugs but that is to be expected because it is the beta version but there weren't any comments on how slow it runs on M1 machines so that led me to believe that it should be fine on M1 Max MacBook Pro and even on older machines like the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro. Oh and I still have the 2020 M1 MacBook Pro which I will also update to macOS Sequoia as well when it comes out so I'm quite excited about that. And so Apple Intelligence, AI, Focus Mode, iPhone mirroring and so many more amazing features those are going to be available if you use the M1 machines and for reassurance purpose I did Geekbench comparison between the iPhone 15 Pro, the M1 machines and also the iPhone 16 Pro leak Geekbench result and in summary the M1 machine performs a lot better in multi-core performance and the fact that the M1 Max also has a neural engine built in it led me to believe that the M1 Max should be able to, to support Sequoia just fine and I also believe that the 2020 MacBook Pro, the M1 Pro, they will also support macOS Sequoia fine as well. But I'm not sure about Intel machine, I don't think the last version of Intel Mac will support macOS Sequoia. And there we have it guys, macOS Sequoia is coming, AI features, amazing new other macOS features that I'm really hyped about. How about you guys? What do you think about macOS Sequoia? For me, I think it's cool, it's going to really integrate well with my workflow, thus I'm very excited. So how about you? Leave your thoughts in the comment section down below and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks, goodbye and peace.